Hey Leo, what's going on? Hope you're doing really well. Uh, my name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. Um, and we are going to do a reading for April, but you know, timeless reading, blah blah blah. Um, you're very welcome here at Leo. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. Hopefully this uh, reading will, um, you know, resonate with you and you'll enjoy it. And if that is the case and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I'd appreciate that very much as well. Um, let me just give these a quick shuffle. You might be feeling very overworked, Leo. Like very tired, very overworked. Because, um... Um... There's like not been a break in your work or something. It's like no matter how much you work, you feel like you can't crack, like you can't break the back of it. But that's about to change. There's about to be some kind of breakthrough for you, okay? Where you can like, re like rest more, relax more. Well, that was a crap shuffle. My name is Klaus Schwab and you will all eat bugs. You will eat bugs, you will eat, you will eat bugs, and you will own nothing and be happy, y'all. Yeah? Um, what is the message for Leo, please? I'm just going to pull one from this deck. What is the message for Leo, please? Okay, things are obviously stuck. Like, yeah, you've been working really, really hard. Um, I kind of feel like you feel a bit stuck. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. You've been working really, really hard. The wheel, yeah, listen. Things are about to change in terms of your job, okay? Um, the Wheel of Fortune, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. You might be learning a new skill with the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. You might be learning a new skill. Something's about to change in your job, okay? Because you're going to this Nine of Pentacles, which talks about financial stability, financially like being quite wealthy, actually, financial independence, being successful. Um, you know, possibly. Well, specifically, it does. It does tend to talk about like your own business if you're having. You know, if you've been work, work, working away at your own business, then you're like, oh my God, this is never going to take off. Something's about to shift here. All your hard work is going to pay off, all right? Okay, what else for Leo? You might be feeling very despondent about it. I think you have a new love coming in too. I think you have multiple things. You might be feeling really pissed off because um, my neck just got really sore. <laughs> like my shoulders and my neck, like you might be feeling really tense and like, like everything is kind of a struggle and nothing is moving. Um, but you, you're, you're coming to the end of a cycle. Like you're just kind of, I feel like you're, this, this page of cups, whoever they are, I feel like you're waiting for someone else to finish a cycle and you just kind of got stuck in their ending of a cycle, if you see what I mean. So all, like you just can't do anything to move it forward, which must be very frustrating for you because you're a fire sign, right? Um, it could be a Pisces, but there's someone new coming in. Also, I feel like you're just grinding away at your job and you're like, I don't see any progress. <laughs> no, nothing's happening. But it is. Like you're very, very close to a shift. So hang in there, okay? Um, yeah, they could definitely be a Pisces, Page of Cups and the High Priestess. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, they, they, you know what? They're going to seem too good to be true, this person. You're actually going to think this person's too good to be true. You have the Emperor and the Page of Pentacles here. So this person coming in is like a solid dude or a solid chick. Um, could be Aries, could be Virgo, Capricorn, uh, could be Pisces, but... 
very uh yeah like responsible loyal faithful successful very mature um i don't know that i would say they were older because you have the two pages here so they might be um kind of younger but very mature for their age or your age but very mature maybe they could be a mix of earth and water this person very sweet very loving a little shy you might have met them at your work or you might meet them through your work sorry that was just some something my microphone dropping um see with the seven of cups and the devil you're gonna be like this is too good to be true <laughs> that's what you are you're just a big bowl of too good to be true what's the catch you're gonna overthink it <laughs> okay uh tell me about this person coming in for leo nine of swords they're, oh, <laughs> they're, uh, they're an overthinker, for, sh for sure. Um, um, I don't know if for some of you, I don't know, we're going to come back to that, okay, but they're, they're overthinking something. They're very sweet, but they, they, they're a chronic overthinker. They don't show that, though, is what I would say, like, with this Emperor card, um, they, they don't show that like they're they're a solid person it's like a you know like a a swan um on the surface they seem all calm and serene but underneath like their little feet are going like this like 90 miles an hour so it's like they seem super chill and super calm but their brain's always thinking 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 and like worrying about stuff okay <laughs> The, uh, the Knight of Cups. I'm not going to take all of those. Yeah, they're, com they're coming in to make you this offer. They're worried that you're going to reject them. I don't know why. I think they're just kind of a nervous person. Oh my god. They're coming in fast. Yeah, Knight of Swords, like, I, I feel like for some of you this has something to do with your job, like, it's going to sound strange, but it's not that strange, they often do it like this, like you're supposed to accomplish something and then when you've done that, this person kind of shows up, or like at the end, tail end of you doing that, this person shows up. Because it's like, they had to wait until you were finished doing your business. <laughs> you know, until you've become successful in whatever this is. Because I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, you're destined to kind of, I don't know, be in the spotlight or make money or something like that. They're actually quite, yeah, you can expect this to start moving forward. In the meantime, though, you can't do anything, okay? So the, the just... I don't know. Be patient. I, don't hit me. <laughs> um, you also have this Five of Cups here. See, you're going to think this is too good to be true because you've had your heart broken in the past. You have the Eight of Wands here. They're, they're coming in for a new beginning with the Fool. And you're, you're going to be like, I don't believe it. <laughs> I just don't believe it. I, I do think your defenses are going to be a little bit up with this person, okay? Yeah. Let's see who they are. Um, let's get some messages from them. Maybe what deck should I go into? This one, maybe? I hate being apart from you. You're so beautiful. Strong attraction, you're so beautiful. Oh my god, they really think you're a fox. You're so beautiful keeps coming up. Okay, what is this page of cups? 
What's this nine of swords actually? You're an earth angel. This person thinks you're a complete sweetheart. What is this nine of swords here for? Imminent pregnancy. I don't think that's anything to do with the nine of swords. Why is this nine of swords here? It's not what you think. Yeah, okay, so there's a couple of things. Number one, they think you're a sweetheart. Um, I think they quite like to get you pregnant quite fast, okay? Or spirits letting you know uh, that there might be a surprise pregnancy here for you. Obviously that's not gonna apply to everyone, okay? It's a general reading. Uh, see with this nine of swords though, and it's not what you think. I, I don't know if they're worried about telling you something. Like for some of you, if you already know this person, maybe they got some splaining to do. Hmm. Okay. They want to come towards you, but they can't. I see marriage and children with you. Why can't they come towards Leo? Or why couldn't they? <laughs> I think you are amazing. Well, that's just uh, changing the subject. What, what's this? They want to come towards you, but they can. I will never leave you. They're just totally changing the subject. <laughs> um, okay, so for whatever reason, yeah, they don't want to talk about it. For, wh for whatever reason, I feel like there's been a delay here with this person. Like, they wanted to come towards you, but for some reason, they weren't able to. But now they are. So, something's sorting itself out. There are so many pages and nights in this reading. Like it's, there's definitely action happening here. They're really overthinking this for some reason. You illuminate me, I'm the happiest I've ever been. The nine of pentacles, I love how strong and independent you are. They might just be overthinking it. That might be why uh, they haven't come in yet. Because you also have it's not what you think. So this person might be um, kind of conjuring up scenarios in their head where they fail and you don't want them and you reject them or something. That might be why they haven't come in yet. Um, what would this person like to say to Leo? Swords. I'm leaving grudges behind and focusing on the future. Excuse me, the future. What would this person like to say to Leo? Ha. Um, the Queen of Pe You know what? I don't really like the way they came out. Let's reshuffle. What would this person like to say to Leo? The Queen of Cups. I am so in tune with you. They really think you're a sweetheart. They really, really do. Like they. They think you're like an earth angel. They really think you're very sweet, very soft, very compassionate, very loving. I kind of feel like they've left. It's either a headspace or it's a person that wasn't nice to them. Okay. They don't want that anymore. What would this person say to Leo? The Eight of Wands next to the Eight of Wands. So you're about to kind of get swept off your feet here. The star, you are my wish come true. That came, that flipped itself right round. <laughs> so extra energy. Uh, the Hierophant, I promise to be faithful now and forever. They're never going to leave you, <laughs> this person, okay? Whoever they are, like this is someone who just, it's just not even going to be a question of whether they'll stay or not. Like they're just that, I'm struggling to find words to put to it, but it's like they're just reliable. They're just that, like a rock, like that person that's always there. Or they're about to be. I do feel like they have something they want to tell you though. I don't know what that is. 
page of cups you're gonna get a surprise message from this person I think it's gonna surprise you okay because you have the eight of wands and the page of cups both of which are usually kind of a little out of the blue um, and the page of cups you know it I just I don't know if there's something they want to apologize to you for for some of you maybe or it could just be that they're gonna come in and like be you know um, like reveal their feelings to you let's get some characteristics who's this person coming in for Leo loyal yeah fiercely loyal like you know you're never getting rid of this person who's this person coming in for Leo that's a lot who's this person coming in for Leo nurturing loving wow they're oh my gosh you have caring here as well i'm not going to take the one underneath that because um it's a, it's in reverse they're very loving very caring you have caring loving nurturing wow loyal I kind of feel like there's a message here for you, Leo, because I don't know if you're freaking out a little bit because nothing's going right and everything's a mess. <laughs> um, but it's it's literally, it just seems to be a question of waiting. So if you can kind of make yourself relax a, a, as much as you can, um, you know, stick on a bit of Supernatural, get some pizza going or something, or whatever your go-to uh, TV show is. I just like that show because they're hot basically. I don't know. It's like I don't there's there's I don't know. What else can you ask for? <laughs> um, apart from Dean Winchester in your house, but um, yeah I digress there. What was I talking about? Um, yeah, I got totally distracted You know, just do something to distract yourself maybe because I just feel like it's a question. Of, yeah, I think you're kind of overthinking this but also, I think this person is an overthinker. I'm coming back to that. As much as you can, I think just try and relax. Because you can't poop it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, this person's a massive overthinker. And I think you would be very surprised to look at them. Because with the Emperor, they come across as like they're very solid. They're like a rock. They're unshakable. They're in charge. They're leadership energy. They know what's going on, you know. But inside the, their head it just you know there's that little voice it just keeps going they're a very hard worker large and in charge so they could definitely be in charge and they might also be kind of large you know uh, they might have brown hair libra energy here as well Um, that came out for Taurus, so you might uh, be dealing with someone that has a little Taurus in their chart. I think they're very generous. I'm not going to push into what this overthinking thing is because I don't think they want to talk about it. Okay? So this is someone who... Uh, <laughs> I don't think... They, they don't want you to know that they overthink. Okay? They want you to think of them as like this emperor. Or, you know, if you're a boy and you're dealing with a girl, you know, or I should say you're a man and you're dealing with a woman, um, she can be your empress, okay? But they don't want you to think of them as, like, someone who overthinks and stresses out. It's like, no, I want you to think of me as, like, cool and chill and, like, in charge and stuff. Okay, um, what else about this person coming towards Leo? Affectionate. I think they might also be a good cook, too. What else about this person coming towards Leo? I'm going to take uh, that one because it's kind of screaming at me. You have dark hair, so they might have darker hair. Intuitive. I think they might be kind of an empath or something. Because you have intuitive on top of this Nine of Swords energy. Um, 
they might be an empath, but maybe they don't know they're an empath. So they might not yet have learned how to kind of channel it or something, like um, like how to control it. So they might have a tendency to get a little mentally overwhelmed, this person. But like I said, you they wouldn't you would never know. I think they're quite intuitive though. What else about this person? Uh, red hair so they could actually have red hair but if you watch the channel you will know that I associate that card with being Scottish so they could be Scottish which obviously if you're in Scotland that's not going to narrow things down for you <laughs> but if you're in like uh, I don't know France or something and you're like ah oh, yes I work with a Scottish guy or a Scottish girl then you know could be them right um Let's get a few more. What else about this person coming towards Leo? Honourable really wants to come out. Very honourable. Um, what else about this person coming towards Leo? Brown eyes. So you could, they could have brown eyes, uh, dark hair. Very smart very intelligent you know what that's probably why they overthink <laughs> like almost too smart for their own good right um what else about this person coming towards leo you guys compliment each other so you might be kind of different you know um oh they could be a virgo yeah, you know, which would make you kind of different, right? Um, like a yin-yang kind of thing. Like you might be the more fiery one. And they might be the more relaxed one. You know, they might take longer to do, because this might be frustrating you. You know, because you're Leo, right? Which, now, don't take offense if you're a girl, okay? Because the, the air signs and the fire signs are more of a masculine energy, right? I'm a Gemini and my energy is very masculine. It's like, even if you're a woman, like it's a tendency to want to go out and bring things to you, right? You know, like, well, I'm not sitting around waiting for that. I'm going to go and make it happen and bring it to me, right? Masculine energy. But that's not what's happened here. I feel like for some reason, there's been a delay and you couldn't do anything about it. So you kind of had to... Rel like relax or you're try they're trying to make you relax into your yin energy like your feminine energy which is receptive like waiting for this person to come in so maybe they have to learn to be more in their masculine energy male or female and you have to learn to be more in your feminine energy you know because um virgos are like slower like compared to a leo Right, because Leo, like I said, you're fire. It's like, let's go, come on, let's do this. But Virgos are more like, you know, let's take our time. Let's let's think about this. Let's make a list. Like, is that sensible? I don't know. Like, let's just calm down. You know, <laughs> let's let's think about things. And you might be like, oh my god. But that's that that desire to kind of prod them in the butt and be like, hurry up, is. I think something maybe you're having to relinquish a little bit because you're not going to get a Virgo to move until they're ready, <laughs> basically. Um, and they are massive overthinkers. Let's get two more to end the reading. Anything else about this person coming towards Leo? Playful and outdoorsy. Is that another energy coming in? Because I do not feel that with this person at all. Is there another person here? Is that you? Who is this playful outdoorsy person? Who is this playful outdoorsy person? I think there's another person here. Um, which I'm not going to go into because it's quite a long reading. But I'm kind of flicking through the characteristics here. You, yeah. There's, a, there's two people here, Leo. This The whole reading has been about this person with the dark hair, right? But there's another person that's just decided to slide in to your DMs, as it were, at the end of the reading. Who's like, maybe more kind of like 
outdoorsy, like playful, like extrovert. They might be like bald or they might have blonde hair. Okay. They're more energetic. I feel like there's two people like, um, there's one that's more quiet and more introverted and they take longer, but there's this other person. You know what? I don't know if this will resonate for all of you, but this other person here might be the one that broke your heart because it's next to this devil and the seven of cups and the five of cups. So this, this past energy, someone who maybe broke your heart in the past, who was a bit toxic in some way, might also be kind of trying to slide into your DMs here at the last minute. Yeah, they could have blonde hair, blue eyes, okay. Show. I'm gonna leave that there. Um, I, you know, I don't know if both of these people are gonna be contacting you, but they, they may well. They're, I just wanna say, this person's gonna be contacting you, like this um, this dark haired person, the, the Virgo energy, but the, this past person who maybe is still like the one who broke your heart is still in your energy, okay? That's as much as I can tell you. So that is your message, Leo. I hope you find it useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it a lot. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings. Love and light. Take care.